do not wake up and feel that the world is unfair, because it is unfair in many ways, but you can make a difference. Looking back, I see how hard it was. We were not a wealthy family. My dad worked three, four jobs. He was a fireman. He had a lawn service. He plowed snow. I remember getting up very early in the morning and go plow snow with him. It was it's one of my earliest memories with my dad, uh, sleeping in the, in the snow truck. My dad was a barber and he gave me a flat top haircut with the wax and I was the champion chalkboard eraser. I put that on my head and I'd run around, it would never fall off. I mowed lawns, I bust tables, and I sold shoes. Uh, I, I learned early on how to sell shoes. A very challenging time was my senior year of high school when I wasn't sure what I wanted to do and I really had no path. And it was either, you know, go and en en enlist in the Navy, which my brother did. I decided to go to college, and that, uh, that choosing education at that point was a crossroad in my life, which defines me today. Don't hold, don't hold it against me. Yeah, yeah. The golden rule is something that I live my life by. The golden rule, in its most traditional form, is to treat others as you would like to be treated. I believe that you modify it a little bit. I want to understand how you want to be treated, not how I would want to be treated. And that is a skill set that they don't teach, but that's something that you can live your life by. And let's have some fun. I do not take myself too seriously. You have to have fun. You can't say I'm successful yet, I'm not having fun. That's an oxymoron. To actually be inducted into Horatio Alger and what it means, the scholarship, uh, the hard work and what it defines is the greatest honor of my life.